So guys, uh, let me now show you uh, how to insert a text checkpoint and an image checkpoint. So there are two kinds of checkpoints. One is a text checkpoint and the other one is the image checkpoint. So first I will demonstrate on the load runner tool or the VU gen as to how to insert this text checkpoint. <clears throat> as always, open your VU gen tool. Uh, this is already a script has been created. So I will re rewrite the script on, on this particular action which is login underscore logout. So I'm going to record the steps for login and logout in the action called login underscore logout. So uh, well, uh, you, you're doing uh, all your recording on the browser called uh, Internet Explorer. And uh, this is the application on which I'm doing the recording on. And uh, I'm going to start it immediately. Just say start recording. And it's just asking me if, if the, there's already the script in login logout and if I wanted to replace it. I'm going to hit it yes. So as you can see here, this is uh, the dialog box which is related to the VU chain and this is my application under test. Okay, so this has been, this page has been loaded. I want to put a text checkpoint, uh, let's assume on this whole text. Just select the text that you want to put the text checkpoint on and select the text and hit on text checkpoint. Now the text checkpoint for the whole text is being added or is being inserted uh, into our code. Now I'm going to log in. Again, uh, I'm going to put the text checkpoint uh, for this next transaction. Um, it's very important to put, put, put the text checkpoint for every navigation or every transaction. So it's, it doesn't work if you put it at one or two places in the script. You have to put it every single possible place uh, wherein uh, 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 possible place for each and every transaction or each, uh, each and every page navigation. So now we have navigated into the next page, which is the login page. So I'm going to put the text checkpoint. Here I'm going to select web tools reservation pages. Okay, that is the text that I have selected uh, to put the text checkpoint on. And then click on hit on text checkpoint. And finally, I'm initiating the next transaction, which is sign off by clicking on the sign up button. And again, this page has been loaded. So I'm going to put the text checkpoint on maybe reservations. Okay. So with this, I've put the text checkpoint for all the three transactions or the three navigations that I had. So I'm going to stop it. Uh, so let's go back and check if these text checkpoints are actually inserted in our script. So that's my first checkpoint. You see, uh, WebRidge find is the LR function for the text checkpoints. It's very, very important uh, to remember this LR function, which is web underscore reg underscore find. It's a definite interview question. So they will ask you what is the LR function for text checkpoints. So WebRidge find is the LR function for text checkpoints. So I put the text checkpoint on web, welcome to web2 site. So if you pay a little bit of attention, Okay, uh, I'm going to delete that. That is unwanted code and it is for the Bing.com. I'm going to delete that. So if you pay attention, this is the piece of code for uh, launching the page. And you're putting the text checkpoint just before that. Okay, so uh, this piece of code which will help you to put the text checkpoint, it doesn't come after the request, it actually goes before the request. Okay, so this is this is the page, uh, this is the request, web request for which you would, you would uh, launch the page and uh, ideally just as our logical thinking goes uh, we wanted the piece of code for text checkpoint to come after that but you but usually it goes before that that's how the view gen has been designed and uh, this is the piece of code for logging in and we put the text checkpoint for that which is web tools reservation pages and again as expected it has went before that and uh, sign off we have put the text checkpoint for reservations but here uh, the, the location has been not placed properly by the tool. So I'm deleting that and putting it over here so that now the text checkpoint for this one reservations is at the right place. So like this we put the text checkpoints for. Now um, <clears throat> if I execute the script, this script is definitely going to fail because I didn't correlate it. So I'm going to execute it just to show that the script will fail. and. So let's go ahead and execute to see if the script passes. As I've told before, the script will eventually fail because 
uh, the correlation has not been done uh, for this piece of code but we will check that using the checkpoints go ahead and running it now yeah as expected the script has failed let's go back and see where actually it has failed okay so you can see here in the output log in the output in the replay log it says web 2 reservation page not found you just double click on that and then you'll go to that piece of code where it has failed you see this piece of code here is failed so for the first checkpoint seems to be fast but for the second checkpoint it is failed because this request didn't go through so it is doing well so but the first request has first checkpoint has passed to confirm that the first checkpoint has passed what i can do uh, again i can go back to the replay log so right click on it and go to the step in the replay log so you see here registered web page find successful for welcome to the web2 site so this particular checkpoint has been passed which means that the first request has been passed first request is good but the second request was not good enough so this particular text checkpoint has failed so how i'm going to fix, fix this one so correlate this one right click correlate the selection uh, the design studio opens and hit on correlate close it so you see that piece of code has changed now so i'm going to go execute now to see if the text checkpoints for all the requests would pass see the script has passed now so which means that every single uh, checkpoint has passed something which i wanted to check in the output log okay so here seems to be the first checkpoint which is successful okay you see here's so word successful and then uh, the second this is the second checkpoint for which it is successful and this seems to be the and this is the third checkpoint for which it is successful so the text checkpoints are successful now okay uh, now let's go back and uh, see how to insert an image checkpoint so as i've told it before so you have two kinds of checkpoints one is text checkpoint and the other one is the image checkpoint so let's see how to insert an image checkpoint so uh, before you get there uh, as to how to insert the checkpoint image checkpoint it is very important to know the placement of these checkpoints so here is the request for launching the page so the text checkpoint for that goes before the request okay so the text checkpoint for before the request and image checkpoint always goes after the request so the placement is right but i want i don't want you to get confused so i'm going to put it over here okay uh, so you see this is the request and it, text checkpoint goes before the request and image checkpoint always goes after the request even though these both checkpoints are for the same request so uh, i'm going to put an image checkpoint for this request which is the logging in so what is the text checkpoint for that here is the text checkpoint for that and we want to put an image checkpoint after that just like text checkpoint has an lr function which is webbridge find an image checkpoint also have an lr function and what is that that is web image check okay so if you don't remember it there's nothing to worry about just right click insert and you send new step because all the options that you have is start transaction randover comment and log you don't have an image checkpoint in this list that's the reason why you're clicking on new step and it goes to this steps toolbar and here <coughs> what i'm going to type image and say enter so these are the two lr functions for image check so this web image check is the lr function for the image checkpoint so i'm going to double click on that and you see it requires some input the image checkpoint it requires either one of this one an alternative image name or the alt attribute of the image that you want to put the image checkpoint on or the src attribute which is the image server file name so i'm going to tell you now how to get these details okay for that we have to go to our application under test so this request is after logging in right you're putting an image checkpoint after logging in so i'm going to i'm going to log into the application okay so as soon as i enter jojo and bean this request has been fulfilled now this is the, re the response that i get 
after this request has been executed. So I'm going to put an image checkpoint uh, for load runner. These are all the images. Okay, this one is image. This one is an image. This one is everything is an image. So I'm going to put an image checkpoint on the image called flights. Okay, for that what I need an SRC attribute or an ALT attribute. So how do I pull this SRT attribute or ALT attribute? Uh, it's pretty simple. Go to the developer tools. So uh, how do I put, how do I get the SRC attribute or the ALT attributes for inserting this uh, image checkpoints? So uh, this is the image as I've told you, uh, uh, to, uh, we have decided to put an image checkpoint on. So here on this page, go to the options and click on the developer tools or you can alternatively use the F12 short key. So as soon as I click on this one, uh, you can see this piece of uh, this this dialog box opens which is uh, for the developer tools okay okay so <clears throat> here uh, in this Geo Explorer, you have something called select the element. This is what is selecting the element. Click on selecting the element and this is the element that uh, you want. So click on that element which is flight. So automatically it will show here if you watch carefully you see ALT attribute and the SRT attribute. It gives you both the values. So uh, you want one of them not both of them. So I'm going to use the ALT attribute. So I'm going to copy that, which is search flights button. I've copied it. Now I got the so, uh, ALT attributes. If you want alternative use the SRC attribute, you can certainly do that. So I'm going to use the ALT attribute. Go back to my script. Okay. So my web, uh, web uh, image checkpoint comes after the request. So this is the request for the login. So I put the cursor where I want the image checkpoint on and then click on this image checkpoint and I'm pasting the alternative image name over there which is search flights button and click on OK. So that's a piece of code uh, for image checkpoints. And now let's go back and execute to see if the image checkpoint works. The script will pass now but the image checkpoint will not be checked. There is a reason for that. So I'm going to go ahead and execute it and I will show you where to check if the image checkpoint was successful or not and what are the changes that we have to do so that uh, this part, this particular thing will, it will actually get enabled. So I'm going to executing it. Ah, the script has passed. Now, so I'm going, going to going back to the script. Okay, so I'm going back to this image checkpoint right click on that just say go to the steps in the tool uh, replay lock so you see here image checkpoint has started image checkpoint succeeded one occurrence of it okay and image checkpoint was successful uh, okay there is a, there is a setting that we have to do i have already enabled the setting and uh, it is working but this has started and for it to be successful there is one setting that you have to do okay which i've already enabled it and that's the reason why you see it as success okay so uh, you go to the runtime settings you go to the runtime settings in the runtime settings uh, under preferences you see something called enable image and text checkpoint by default when you install it uh, uh, when you create a new script this will be disabled okay this is the default value of it so you have to come here and enable it so that for that particular script the image and text checkpoint gets enabled and that is when this particular image checkpoint that you have seen get enabled even though you put in this code and you're still not enabling it over there this will not be executed or this will not be working out so to demonstrate that I'll go to the runtime settings I will disable this okay now I come back to the login and logout I'm saving this script I'll go ahead and execute it now that you have disabled it or 
that's what's the default value which is the disabled uh, the script will pass but uh, the checkpoint will not be executed okay to prove that point to you uh, what I will do uh, I'll go to the script uh, I'll go to the my checkpoint I'll right click on it and just say go to the steps in the replay log and you can see here web image check started and you see here now verification checks are not enabled web image check is skipped okay to get to not to get it skipped what you have to do you have to go to runtime settings preferences and checks and enable it okay so <clears throat> Now that it is even though you put that piece of code it is still not executing it so how, how, how can I make it execute it so simple go to the runtime settings and make sure you have enabled it and saved it this is when it gets executed so this is a very very important question an interview question as to uh, uh, what what is that additional step that you do after inserting that piece of code for the checkpoints so you have to you have to go to the runtime settings go to preferences and you have to enable the image and text checkpoints so that the checkpoint that you have added will actually get uh, executed or will actually get uh, will actually check the script i hope this video is useful to you to understand this uh, text and image checkpoints thank you